Eric and I studied abroad in Norway in a small town on the southern coast called Christiansand. So Norway, uh, honestly, uh, for my options, I had Norway, Amsterdam, or Hong Kong, and out of the three that I had, I thought, what's the most adventurous and kind of, I'm an outdoorsy person, so uh, Norway's definitely the spot for you if you want that, and uh, so I was able to travel all the way through Norway, seven or eight different cities, so I got to see a lot of that. I'm, I'd say I'm already outgoing, but the biggest thing is that getting out of my comfort zone, going with only one other Oregon State student was one big thing, and I also learned that I do love adventure. I'm a big, like, homestead person, but getting out of my comfort zone like that, I just couldn't stop traveling, and so it was amazing, yeah. Going to Tromsø, seeing the Northern Lights, uh, we got stuck a couple times in the snow, um, had to hitchhike our way from, like, our car to get gas and back, this random, like, Norwegian truck guy, and then, other than that, I guess, um, Munich for Oktoberfest, yeah, with some friends. I think one thing that's eye-opening was that uh, you're really not that divided in different countries. Like, you're maybe, like, culturally different, but, like, as a person, everyone's pretty much, like, very similar, and basically, no one's a stranger, you know? And so it was a smaller school with, uh, about 250 exchange students and 12,000 Norwegian students, and the food-wise was just fish and potatoes. Um, uh, basically, they're a coast, uh, to a little town, so a lot of fish and potatoes, and, uh, occasional a lot of soups. It was good, though. I liked it. So getting around town with campus, all it was was just uh, you take a bus downtown because it's about thirty minute walk or you know ten minute bus ride. So everything was buses, and other than that, just walking campus was like five minutes away from where I lived. So and then downtown had really good food, bar streets, and then they had um, really good kind of like student ran events as well downtown. Yeah, everyone speaks English except for the taxi drivers. It's really like that's the only I literally was trying to I couldn't when I got there I didn't know where to go and I said university and he took me to this random like housing location 20 minutes away and so I finally just showed him a photo and then he got me there but everyone speaks English in that area like and every, the entire school is spoken in English so even for Norwegians I think uh, if you have the opportunity to take it because no matter where you go you're gonna get an insane experience and with that being said like uh, I did Norway some people did you know Asia and some other parts of Europe and no matter where you go you're always welcome to travel elsewhere as well mm -hmm.